This is another question that requires students to put on their visualization glasses and see things in 3D. Jack has eight identical large cubes and some identical small cubes. He packed all the cubes tightly into a rectangular box such that cubes of the same size are stacked on top of each other. The box is filled to its brim exactly. The figure shows the first layer of cubes packed in box. How many small cubes does Jack have? The volume of the box is 4032 cube centimeters. The total volume of the eight large cubes is 3 over 7 of the volume of the box. What is the length of one edge of the small cube? In order to be able to finish the entire paper, leaving some time for checking, you should finish this question under 4 minutes. Pause the video and get doing! Students require strong mental flexibility in order to be able to visualize the whole figure in 3D. Mental flexibility is one of the most important executive functions that children need in order to solve math problem sums. And that is why at iLab, we focus on the training of mental flexibility alongside the training of math heuristics, so children can solve problem sums easily. The first concepts students must remember in order to solve this question is that all sides of a cube are the same. Which means, if two large cubes are of the same length of three small cubes, then two large cubes stacked on top of each other will also be equivalent to three small cubes. If every four large cubes is equivalent to six times three layers of small cubes, which is 18, then eight large cubes will fetch a total number of two layers times 18 small cubes, which gives us 36 small cubes. B is the easy part of this question. Given that 8 large cubes are 3 over 7 of the volume, the volume of the small cubes must be 4 over 7. Because 7 parts minus 3 parts is 4 parts. All we need to do is to divide 4032 cube centimeters by 7 times 4 to know that the total volume of 36 small cubes is 2304 cube centimeters. Each cube is therefore 64 cube centimeters. In order to find the age of one cube, we'll have to press the cube root button on the calculator for the answer 4 centimeters. If Helen and Ivan's question is a 5 on a flip table index, this question will receive a 4. It is difficult for students who are not trained in such questions, but for those who are very exposed to such questions, this is an easy one. Please like it. Click subscribe and the notification bell to get notifications for more PSLE questions.